Hi, and this time we'll be drawing a, um, an orthogonal drawing from an isometric drawing. So in this case, again, you'll need a pencil, you'll need a ruler or a straight edge to measure, and you'll also need this guy, which is a 45 degree set square. And you can find out if you've got the right one by putting your set square against one of these lines here the angle matches when you put your set square on a straight line then that's 45 degrees if not you'll have got the wrong set square okay so again I'll be using a texter so that you can see uh, what I'm doing so this drawing is interesting because it's a lot more detailed than any of the drawings you've done before okay again um, we're going to be starting with the front view which is uh, from this side oh, wrong texter starting from this side okay <clears throat> and we draw in the front view exactly the same as it is here so we can see that we start with a one block line here so we'll put that in it goes one block up and then we go one two three four five six seven eight blocks across and we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks across. And then we've got one block down, one block across. We go one, two, three blocks high. Okay, and now we've got an angle. So I don't know exactly what that angle is. So I'll leave that for now and I'll come back and go the other way. So on the back we've got one, two, three, four, five. So we'll go five blocks up. I've got one, two, three, four blocks across. Two blocks down. Two blocks across. one block up two blocks across okay so now again I've got the start point and the end point of my angle so I can just draw that in there and that's my front view done okay <coughs> so now I can do the side view or the top view it doesn't matter which I'm going to go with the part of the side view for a moment. So I'll do this bit here. So we've got one, two, three, four blocks across. I'll get my set square out, put it on a straight line, line it up, and I'll count one, two, three, four blocks across and draw my line. I'll go three blocks up, and I'll go three blocks up. Whoop. Okay, and then I'm going to do four blocks across again. I'll do that here. And see why we don't use a text start, obviously it bleeds a lot. Okay, now I could go to this line here, but again, I don't know where this other point is in space, so I need to draw all the rest of it first. So help me with that, I'll draw the top view here. Okay, so this is going to be attached to this top bit here. So that's five blocks up, it's one, two, three, four blocks across. So again, I'm going to get my 45 degree set square, and I'm going to put it on a straight edge like so and draw okay and it's one two three four blocks across so again I'm going to draw that one two three four blocks across okay and then one two three four blocks down to finish the square okay now this is the tricky part because up to this point, all we've been doing is drawing along the blocks that are set. Now I have to draw along a line that doesn't have any blocks on it. So I need to draw sort of inside the um, rectangular prism there. So for this, I actually do need to measure. Now each of these blocks, as you'll be able to tell on your page, is 5 mil long. Okay. Now I know that these two... Um, yeah, so I need to go two blocks down, and that is 5 mil times 2, which is 10 millimetres. So I get my ruler, I get my ruler, it's smaller, get my ruler, 
and I measure, not from the edge, but I measure from a line. So I'll pick the 10 mil mark here, or the one centimeter line, and I'll measure 10 mil from that to get me to two centimeters or 20 millimeters. So I'll draw that down to there. Okay, and then I can get my ruler and join those two points there, like so. Um, now I need to draw this line across, but it's going to be hidden like it is here by this top edge. So I need to draw that top edge first. If I look at my drawing here, I know that going backwards, that four blocks is one centimeter. And that's because this is cabinet oblique. So cabinet oblique, when you go backwards, you halve the distance you're going back. So instead of going 20 millimeters back, I'm only going 10. So I get my set square, put it on the right angle, which will be flipping it over like this. And I need to measure, I'll draw a line first. So I'll draw the line with my pencil so I don't stuff it up. Draw a line first. Okay, and you can see the line coming off the top there. And then I need to measure along that line 10 millimeters. And firm that in to there. Okay. <clears throat> and so now I've got my edge. I can just draw that little edge in like that. Doesn't matter how long it is because I know it's going to get hit by there. Okay, so from here, I need to draw these two. So that's 10 mil across. Switch back to this. So get my ruler and draw 10 mil across. Two. And I can connect these two points up like so. And then I can connect these two points up like that. Oop. Like that. Okay, this one's a little bit out because the lines are so thick. With your pencil, you should be able to get these exactly on by using your measurements. Now, there's one more line I need to do, and it's this edge here. So, this line is going to go up at a 40 degree, 45 degree angle. Now, this edge here is exactly as long as this, but because it's hidden by this shape, I don't need to draw the whole line. I just need to draw enough so that it gets hidden by the shape. So, I set my set square on a straight edge, make sure it's a 45 pull it across and just draw the line up like so and we're done.